Aloha. I'm Andy. In today's video, I will upgrade the CPU for the Sony VIO VGN Z4 XWN model PCG 6Q1M laptop. Like I said in my earlier video, this is my friend's old Sony VIO VGN Z4 XWN model PCG 6Q1M laptop, and I will make a few videos about this laptop. In today's video I will upgrade the CPU from T5500 to the more powerful T7200 model. The difficulty level for this CPU upgrade procedure, for this laptop is easy. For the CPU upgrade we need some tools and materials like. Of course we need a compatible upgrade CPU. A Phillips screwdriver to remove the bottom cover, a slotted screwdriver to remove the CPU, isopropyl alcohol and paper towel to clean the CPU and the heatsink, a paintbrush to clean the fan and the heatsink, and good quality thermal paste. So let's begin the upgrade. I power down the laptop, I unplug the power cord and I flip it over the laptop. Step 1, I remove the battery, even that I know the battery doesn't charge anymore, I won't risk it a short circuit. Step 2, I remove these four screws with a Phillips screwdriver and I remove the heatsink cover. It helps if your screwdriver is magnetic, or you can put a small magnet on the screwdriver to not lose the screws. I used a magnet from a failed hard disk drive. Step 3, to remove the heatsink, I need to remove these two holding screws. Now, gently I remove the heatsink. The thermal paste is still flexible, didn't dried out, that means in the past they used a good quality thermal paste. To remove the CPU, first I need to unlock the CPU with a slotted screwdriver by turning the lock from left to right. Step 5, I unlock and I remove the T5500 CPU. I recommend to clean the old CPU in the socket because it's easier. But now I'm in hurry because my phone battery is low. This is the Core 2 Duo T7200 running a 2 GHz upgrade CPU, with 4 MB L2 cache memory. Step 6, I align this golden triangle with the socket triangle, I insert the CPU in the socket and I lock it. Step 7, I clean the heat sink and CPU with isopropyl alcohol until they shine. Step 8, I apply a good quality thermal paste. Step 9, I align carefully the heat sink, I put back and I screw in the two holding screws.
Step 10, I put back the bottom cover and I screw in the four holding screws. Step 11, I put back the battery, plug in the power cord and I power on the laptop. The CPU is recognized by the laptop. If this video was useful to you and do you want to reward me with a cup of coffee, you can do it by clicking on the link in the description, select one cup and click on the support button. In my next video, I will upgrade this Sony Vio laptop with an SSD. Thanks for watching, don't forget to share, comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye.